Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, as the title says, the small YouTuber tag. I just saw this. It like randomly popped up on my newsfeed, which I was actually really pleased with because usually I can't find small YouTuber stuff and I do like to watch small YouTubers. So I saw this. I will link the original video down below. I do believe she's a she's a British YouTuber. I know she is because she said she was. Uh, her name's Claudia. I'll put her video down below. She got it from somebody else that she linked in her video. So I'm going to be using all her questions. Basically, I'm just answering questions about my channel, about myself. I watched her whole video. I really liked it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because the first couple questions I was like, I really liked the end further questions down the road. So the first question, I have them all wrote down right here. So if you could describe your content in one word, what would it be? Life? It's my life. I think that's just what I would say, life. I don't know. Um laid back it's not it's very just kind of what I feel like doing that day it's very I have some type of structure to my channel I have my craft videos in one spot like the DIY videos my vlog type videos and more like these type of tag type videos or like my makeup videos as you can see it's kind of a lot but it's just all together like my life and it does all kind of just revolve in I've really been enjoying the way that I've been doing it since I switched back to not just try and do a craft channel, to just doing my everyday life. And it seems like you guys are enjoying that more as well. The second question, two, second question is what equipment do you use? What equipment do you use? I have a small tripod, I got it off Amazon. It was like 30 bucks, $25 maybe. And it just has a little ring light up here and I stick my phone on it. I have an iPhone 8, that's what I film on. And that goes into the next question, which is what do you edit with? I also edit on my phone, on iMovie. A lot of people use iMovie on a computer, but you have to have a MacBook for that. And I don't. I have an HP. My shirt keeps creasing and it's really bothering me. I can't wait to move. Can we just talk about that for a second? What YouTuber do you resemble most with content? I honestly don't know. Probably just any other like channel that does vlogs. That's it. I'm going to leave it at that because I really don't know. What YouTuber would you collab with if you could? Now, who wouldn't say Shane Dawson? I would almost rather just meet Shane and not just do like a meet and greet. Like, I would love to just like become it. Like, I want to be Garrett Watts. I want to be Shane's best friend. So aside from Shane, because I don't know who wouldn't pick him, uh, Bailey Sarian, I really, really love her and I really love her videos. The Try Guys, could you imagine the Try Guys. I also really, really like Emmy Made in Japan. I don't know if you guys watch any food videos. I love watching food videos. Emmy Made in Japan is one of my favorite food videos. I would love to meet her and do a video with her. That would be so cool. What do you classify as a small YouTuber? Personally, so I consider myself not even small. Like I say like small YouTubers. That's like what we're called. But I am like non-existent, irrelevant, like baby channel like basically it, a small youtuber i would say anything under 5k but then again if you're over 5k you're not a big youtuber because people have millions and millions and millions but i'd say about over 5k is when you're like "Ooh, i'm a youtuber like i don't know like yeah i do youtube <laughs> i like this one if you had more money what type of content would you make I would definitely love to make unboxing videos. I love mystery boxes and when people are like, ooh, I bought a box off the black market. Let's see what's in it. Even just like the makeup boxes, the Jeffree Star mystery box unboxings. I really like watching unboxing videos and if I had the money, I would be doing them. Uh, another one would be more like food related videos. Like I was just talking about Emmy Made in Japan. She follows like some really, really cool or binging with Babish. He does, if you don't, have never seen his channel, he takes meals or like food recipes from shows like he did like a sandwich from family guy like he actually just came out with a cookbook with his first 100 recipes which is super cool but his videos are super cool but it's not cheap like food is not cheap you have to spend money on that kind of stuff so those would be my two biggest things would be like the, the box unboxing videos and like more like food recipe type trying videos i would really like to do but food ain't cheap do you watch or support other small youtubers yes 
my only issue is with the way the YouTube algorithm is, I wish that I could put in a request to see more small YouTubers being recommended to me because I don't know what to type in to find that. There used to be a Facebook group that I was in and it altogether got deleted because everyone was being inconsiderate, like, ooh, sub for sub. Like, that's not what I'm looking for. If you're a small YouTuber and you're here and you're watching, this is what I wanna ask for. Comment down below what kind of content you do. I'll check out anyone who comments on my videos. I always do. I always click on any comment that is commented on my videos. But I always say when I comment on videos like this, this is the type of videos I do. Only subscribe to my channel if you want to watch, you want to interact. Like, I, you don't just want a bunch of, like, you know, ghost subscribers. You, you want the watch time. You want the interaction. You want people to be, like, a family to you and to watch to really enjoy your channel. I wanna be a channel someday that, you know, you have those YouTubers you watch when they post, you're clicking off whatever you're on, you're looking forward to the days that they post, you're, you know, oh my gosh, the, you know, Bailey Sarian posts on Mondays, it makes my whole week. I love watching Bailey Sarian's videos. When Shane Dawson posts, I'm, my whole day is shut down to sit down and watch what he's posting. Jeffree Star, you know, all those, I don't need to be that big, but I would like to be that for somebody. So if you're seeing this video, you're a small YouTuber, Comment down below, I will check out your channel. I will subscribe to you if your channel vibes with me. And I like all kinds of content. I don't even watch content that's even like my channel, honestly. I watch all kinds of crazy stuff. And then if you're vibing with me, just subscribe. But I I hate the, oh, subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. I, I don't do that. I, nobody should do that. You subscribe to a channel if you like it. I got way off topic on that. But yes, I do like to support small YouTubers. So please, if you're a small YouTuber, like I said, comment down below, describe your channel a little bit, support each other back and forth in the comments. If you guys are seeing this, moving on. <laughs> Rant over. Three hobbies outside of YouTube. My crafting, obviously, I do all my, all kinds, I'm like looking at my crafts. My little wine glasses. I love making glitter glasses. I crochet. I don't know if those are considered one or two different things. They're both crafty. Um, my plants. I don't know if that's a hobby, but I've really, really fallen in love with plants, and I just, I love them. I love my plants. I don't know. I don't know where else to go off of that. If you guys did not see my video where I introduced you to all my plants, I'll link it down below. I'm like, I have a newfound love. Okay. And then cooking and baking is something that I've always loved to do my entire life since I was a kid. I used to want to go to culinary school. Why did I not follow that dream? Why am I sitting on my, I'm not even on my bedroom floor, I'm in my guest bedroom floor with a mess around me filming a small YouTuber video instead of going to school? I don't know. Next question, when do you upload? So I used to upload once a week. Now I upload, I don't have days. If you guys would like that better, I can set days but I basically upload every three to four days. I upload at least twice a week, if not three times a week. So there's always something new. There's always something new on this channel and it, my videos really revolve. So if you're not really here for the crafting videos, you only get those every once in a while. If you're not really here for the vlog videos, you'll still get your craft videos every once in a while. If you really like the upcycling videos, you get those. Videos like this, you get those. So I really try to keep it pretty revolving. Where do you want your channel to be in a year? So this, I could take this a couple different ways. If you're talking subscriber wise, it would be cool to hit 1K by next year, but I already know that I've been on for almost a year now and I'm still under 200. So if I could just be not talking number wise, nothing like that, like I was saying before, if I could be that for somebody when I post a video, they're like, I'm ready to watch this. Like, hell yeah, she posted like my favorite, you know, whatever. Like if I could be somebody's like, go to like I really really like Morgan Adams as well um that's another person back to the collab that I wouldn't even want to collab with I just want to be her friend after watching if you guys watched the Shane Dawson series where they were talking about her like being pressured into like lip injections and stuff like my heart was hurting I really would love to just like hang out with her not even like film it but she's another person who she posts and I just I would love to be that for somebody within the next year. If I'm not already, if I'm that for you, let me know. But I don't think I am that for anybody yet, which is okay. I'm still new. Oh, it's so dry in here. And then your social medias. It's the last, not even a question. Um, I'll link my social medias down below. I always do. The main one is Instagram. I also use Facebook and my Facebook shop is on Facebook. So that's why I always link my Facebook. 
I have a Twitter, I don't really use it. So I'll just put my Instagram down below like I always do. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed filming it. Small YouTuber tag 2019. I'll probably still be doing it in 2020. Uh, another small YouTuber tag if I see another one with similar questions. But yeah, that is it. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Say hello. I love you guys. And like I said, I'll see you in a couple of days. I upload every third or fourth day of the week. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.